So, King, what did you teach this week in your videos? Well, Polly, we were trying to teach some basics then to the people, but we taught a lot about walking with your skis on and to do the basic snowplow turning to keep yourself in control. Well, tell me about this walking with your skis on. Well, walking is important so you can get around because your, your skis are slippery. And you just, you don't want to be packing your kids around or else you get really upset, especially the dads. The moms are a bit less overwhelmed, but it also helps you to get to those sick pow stashes first and helps you from not falling over in line. So, why this turning? What's the point when you can just go straight down the hill like all those Jerry's? Wait, what does Jerry mean anyway? The reason you need to learn about how to turn is so you can keep a steady pace and not be a danger to yourself or somebody else. Oh, and a Jerry, in terms of skiing, is someone who is completely clueless of the sport they are doing, does not know how to dress in their equipment, and it has very little common sense in general. Thank you for your time, King. Would you like to join me for a spot of tea? I am good on a cup of tea, but have you ever heard of a short ski? tricks we can teach you we'll teach those later but right now we're going to teach your kid to walk with their skis on first you'll get their them to put their skis in a backwards pizza tuck their knee in a bit and so they're on their inside edge and then take little baby steps and once you get good at that then you can try going as fast as you can like this But you need to put your both your knees uphill. And then you can take your steps and do it well. But if your kids are having a problem and they're doing that, they're probably going too facing too far downhill or too far backwards. If so, just remind them they have to stay perpendicular to the hill. Guys learned how to go straight down the hill in a pizza and then push them both out extra far to stop. Well, you might want to do that as a warm up this week. And then, you, this week we're going to learn how to do turns with it to keep a slow and steady pace. So, like normal, you're going to keep your pizza and you're going to, instead of pushing both out, you're going to push one out, put your weight on the outside ski and turn the other one away from it, but you gotta have enough speed. And keep your weight on the outside ski. And then you gotta go, cause you have two legs, so you might as well do it on both legs. So you gotta hike back up. Put their both their hands on their knees and put them in a 
a good stance. What's a good stance is to stay moving like that. Number two is people, a lot of the time, because it, they're also scared, putting, leaning all their weight on the inside ski. And it just also, it doesn't get a good turn with your snowplow. And you can barely turn it. It's super hard to turn. So, what you can tell them to do is um, put both hands on the both, on the bottom knee, on the, knee, on the downhill ski. Gentle slope, they can even follow you and try to link some turns together. They 